Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Coffee and Conversation with Kristen today. Wanted to just talk to you a little bit about where the market is at because there's been some, you know, a little bit of movement this week. A um, couple things with the jobs report, things like that coming out. So there is just a little bit of, you know, some him and haw and what's going to happen and those kind of things. So we just want to kind of go over where we're at, okay? So this week, week over week, we are up about 1% in mortgage applications, which is great um, on the purchase front. Year over year, we're down about 14% in applications. However, I'd like to say that even though that's lower... Um, given that the rates are up two and a half percent or a little over, a little under, depending on what loan program you're looking at, it's pretty incredible that we're still up that high in applications. So even though it's a dip, let's look at the bright side. The market's resilient. It is staying. People are staying in the market. They are buying. And uh, so I think we're going to see that continue. I really do. The Federal Reserve did leave a little bit of a a nugget this week that they expect to uh, raise rates again in September around a half to three quarters of a point. We'll see what they end up doing there. Um, but again, for being up two and a half percent in a lot of areas on average, it's not bad. It's, it's still a great market. We're still helping a lot of people into homes. Um, and what we're seeing is still that supply and demand. We still have more people pre-approved that want to be homeowners, even with rates up, then we see houses coming on the market. So um, supply and demand, we're gonna stay there as well. So um, I, this is again, not even with the rate, if the rates go up a little bit, we'll tend to give you updates on that as that we get closer to that. Now, the thing that we need to just be aware of is that when we have more employees, less production, tends to focus on more of a recession type style of things. Not saying that that's what's, you know, for sure, but we're kind of counterintuitive right now on what we're hearing media-wise and what's really going on. So just, you know, read between the lines there is kind of always my, there's two truths or three truths, right? Yours, mine, and what's in the middle. So um, I feel like we're kind of in that middle source right here. Nothing to be afraid of. However, I do think we are still going to see some changes. For this year, um, they're even saying, you know, potentially a little bit more in uh, after September. So I still think, though, that it's a great time to get in the market. Rates are staying steady. Most of the higher priced um, rates in the mortgages went up a couple months ago. We anticipated all this. Um, we, we knew these rates were coming. We knew this inflation was going to be an issue and they were going to have to combat it through rates. So a lot of the lenders, that they already had that kind of baked in, all those risks, if you will. Um, so we're seeing things stay a little steady. However, the bond market doesn't necessarily love uh, the recession word, if you will, and what we're seeing on the horizon. So that's what I want to just keep you on uh, the loop about. Just make sure you're paying attention. Um, however, we're pre-approving people still, even giving maybe a, a quarter to a half percent rate cushion. That way you as a buyer are very prepared and actually we're protecting you so that if you do find a house in a couple months and rates go up, you're good. Now I hear a lot of this you know, date the rate kind of thing. And I do understand that. Um, but you've all known and I've said it before. My take on it is let's look long term and as long term as we can. So let's really dig in and see exactly what we can kind of get long term to know for sure if an adjustable rate, you know, date the rate is an option for you. Otherwise, I'm still talking to clients who are, you know, really set on that 30 year fix. You guys, I will tell you, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, it is always easier to refinance and pay for a refinance when rates go down and you save a bunch of money than the risk of rates going up and then having to pay to refinance that. Now, you know, the date, the rate thing, if you know for sure that you're going to be in a home for just a couple of years and you get an option for a really great arm rate and you want to take that for five to 10 years because you know for sure you'll be out of it. I understand that. Um, but the fixed rate, I think, is still a, a really big option to look at, um, even though the rates are a little higher. I myself was just looking at it for a different type of loan, and I had an arm and a fixed right in front of me. And I could 
debate it both ways. So what we had to do is we really had to think about the purchase that we were making and uh, how long we wanted to be in that for or not. So I suggest you do the same because it's the same type of a situation, whether it's an investment property, a primary residence, it doesn't matter. Look at well, how long you're going to have that and if an adjustable rate mortgage is good for you there or not. Remember as well, when we're talking about, um, you know, is this bubble going to burst, which it's still not a bubble. I, I, I don't know how to express it enough, but we still get asked all the time. We don't have, we have an adjustable rate mortgage out there right now. A lot of the credit unions have it. We have one. Um, however, they're long term. They're not these weird adjustable rates that we had where you picked if you wanted to pay interest only or if you wanted to pay a, an adjustable rate or a fixed rate, like all these pay option arms that we had. Those don't exist anymore. On top of the fact that there's so much equity in homes that if somebody was really struggling to pay for things, they could easily sell their stuff, even vehicles right now. They could sell them and get out of that, right? They could sell their home, take the equity, make money, pay off what they need and start over. So I still don't think you're going to see any massive foreclosures. Um, I don't think there's going to be any kind of a market that's going to crazily fall or a bubble that's going to burst because you still have the supply and demand as well as us really getting and tightening up and have been tightening up for the last few years, your income docs, your asset docs, your employment, all of that to ensure that you're going into a home you can afford. So remember when you're talking to people, these are kind of the tidbits of what's going on with the market. Don't expect a foreclosure market. Do expect rates to kind of bounce around a little bit here and there and expect for there to be, you know, I say a little bit of turbulence. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be for forever, but for the time being, we need to be prepared. Still think that there's going to be an appreciation gain. And over the last handful of years, you would be up right now, even at a higher interest rate than when they were at two. So definitely, definitely think about by being a homeowner. If you're sick of renting, you will still win in this market. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.